Well, of course, starting a business is not easy. And now for the first time in Austin, there is a festival going on right now that aims to help small business owners on a number of levels. And joining us this morning, Matthew Pollard, uh, the executive director of Small Business Fest, and also Jim Cathcart, a speaker and author who will be speaking at the fest this week. Thank you so much, gentlemen, to both of you for coming in. Thank Hello. you for having us here. It's wonderful. Happy to have you. And Matthew, the festival just kicked off. Uh, tell yeah. us how it's going so far. Look, it was very exciting last night. We had uh, Mayor Adler uh, arrive, yeah. and he gave an unbelievable speech. And then uh, Sonia Gillard from the governor's office presented him uh, with a proclamation of Small Business Week. Week. So I think uh, getting two levels of government uh, both so important to us to show up and provide their support, that was amazing. And so. that has to say a lot too about confidence in this festival and what it means for the community, especially being the first year. Definitely. I think the community's really come out for it. We've had over a thousand reservations for the, the free events that we've got going on in town and the, the group of people that were at the premium event were, were unbelievable. They all had lots of positive things to say and they were tweeting like crazy. We saw the, the board uh, later on this morning and it oh, was yeah. just, just great to see so many people get behind all of small business and mm -hmm. really focus in on, on what's important to them. Yeah, I can only imagine all the social media posts that will be going on this week related it's, to the festival. <laughs> it's really been great and we're so excited to see it. Our hashtag is SBF2016 and it just goes on and on so we're really excited. All right and Jim you flew in from California for this. I You're going to be speaking at the event. Why did you want to be a part of it and, and what do you think about it being here in Austin? Oh, I love that it's in Austin. I flew in because of my friendship with Matthew and, and I love Texas. I grew up in Arkansas so this was the big time to me. <laughs> Come to Texas and uh, small business is the heart of uh, of the of America basically yeah. I mean when you think about it people's the idea of the American dream is to be able to have a vision of what they want to do and create it themselves and that's what a small business is all about so if the if the community if the uh, government if if the fellow citizens are encouraging people who are small business owners or would be small business owners then they're going to have more courage they're mm -hmm. going to take a few risks and they're going to get the support they need and you think sure. that uh, Texas and Austin specifically is the right place for small well, business owners yeah think about the live music capital of the world what is the purest form of small business some guy or gal standing <laughs> on the street with a guitar and a tip jar in front of them right and that's that's beautiful because We've got those here. live business all over this community and it's and it just keeps it alive and everybody knows you know that person depends on my support and encouragement let's go down and listen to that musician let's go over and drop a tip in the jar let's let's request some songs and get things going here you know yeah. the same thing for a laundry or a or a coffee shop or a you know technology firm yeah let's support it mm -hmm. and same idea starting with something small and you never know what it could turn well, into it could be south by small business sb2 true <laughs> yes yeah depending on how this year goes and already going well can uh, small business owners or people still sign up if they want to participate or go to events this week yeah definitely i mean we've got premium events happening the next two days and then we've also got community events still happening so tonight we've got community events happening at google fiber as well uh which are free to attend and we've also got an event which is really cool on friday at texas venture labs they've oh. got a, a group of kids from wimberley high school are coming in a bus all the way down to, to see their first pitch competition and they're so Very excited cool. about it so we're really pumped and so Texas Venture Labs is you know housed out of uh, University of Texas and then mm -hmm. uh, they throw this every year and they wanted to put it in under the Small Business Festival banner so we're so excited that they did yeah. so you're also getting the attention of future small business owners with this well I think yeah. if you can't learn to be a small business owner when you're young and see that it's possible I think that's one of the things that a lot of a lot of people miss out on so I, I'm ecstatic that Wimberley High School have this whole program to, to to really get people to mm -hmm. embrace entrepreneurship and I think that's fantastic. Yeah, you can start at a young age but of course it's never too late. You want to switch your careers, you want to start right. your own business, this would maybe be a good place to find out exactly. how you do that. Absolutely. Jim, going to be playing any music this week I, speaking it, of? I, I believe that could happen. Yeah? Yeah, I, I love Jim was playing in a guitar band and singing. at home too. <laughs> so not only will you be a speaker but maybe taking Thank in you. some live music as well. Anything else you want to add? Oh, look, we'd just really love people to check out the, the live feed as well. One of the big things for us is we wanted to make it all inclusive and make sure people had the opportunity to, to see even the premium events for free. So if people go to sbflive.com, they'll be able to check out all the premium events that people have paid expensive ticket prices for. They'll be able to view it from anywhere that's got a computer and a laptop. Great. And it runs through Friday. Exactly. Right. Matthew, Jim, thank you so much thank for joining you. me.